Okay class, uh, this is a three element DC circuits uh, worksheet problem that uh, I've handed to, out to you guys on the D2L. Uh, this is just an example work through, uh, just to give you a little bit of a heads up on uh, how to be able to solve them if you are having some difficulties. So I'm going to do probably two questions of this, or from this. Uh, this started as uh, question number two. I chose it because it's got some fairly rounded numbers to start with. Uh, and then I'll move into a, a little bit more of a difficult one. Okay, so in here they've given us a source voltage to 250 volts. They've given us a power total of uh, 2,500 watts. And they've given us R1 and R2, and that's it. So from here we need to solve for all of the other blanks. Remember what I said though, the most important uh, item that we can solve for um, in order to be able to give us the key to unlock a lot of the other uh, answers we're looking for would be to solve for current. So how can we get that? We can go 2500 watts divided by 250 to get our current of 10 amps. Okay, that 10 amp current, we could then divide that into our 250 volts to give us 25 ohms as our R total. Alright, now that I have 25 ohms as our R total, Remember the rules, R total is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. So we know R1 and R2 add up to 24. And if we've only got 25 ohms in total as our resistance, that makes R3 as one ohm, okay? The current of 10 amps will be flowing through the entire circuit, as we've learned, and then coming back to the source, okay? So once we have the resistances and we know that current, it's pretty straightforward. We can very quickly do some math. 10 times 10 gives us 100 volts, okay? 100 times 10 gives us 1,000 watts, okay? Uh, 14 times 10 gives us 140 volts, okay? Uh, 140 times 10 gives us 1,400 watts, and then 10 times 1 is 10 volts, and 10 times 10 is 100 watts. Now, we can add up our voltages, 100 plus 140 plus 10, giving us 250. Our powers, 1000 plus 1400 plus 100, giving us 2500, all right? So we know everything works there, all the math is good. Okay, so that was question number two from that circuit. Now, if I erase some values here, and move on to another question that some have a little bit more difficulty with. We can do that and we can attack it. All right, so in this circumstance, I'm gonna choose uh, question number 14. So I've jumped way up. So in question number 14 here on that worksheet, the three element DC series circuits, okay, they give us a source voltage of 250 again. Okay. They give us a load one of 50 volts. They give us uh, our power two of 400 watts. Okay. And a power three of 600 watts. Okay. And that's it. That's all they give us. So. We need to be able to break this down a little bit in order to solve for our current, which will unlock everything else. We can do that by remembering some general rules, all right? Those general rules would be the sum of all power has to equal or will, will equal the power total, and the sum of all the voltage drops will equal that source voltage, all right? I know we've only given you 50 volts as a uh, voltage drop at V1, how are we going to unlock these two? Well, we could very quickly, if I were to say, take my meter and meter the voltage across these two voltages, or uh, across those individual voltage drops, if we added the two together, we would get whatever is remaining from the 250 subtract the 50 volts of V1. Okay, in other words, this voltmeter here would read 200 volts. Now that doesn't mean V2 and V3 are 200 each. 
okay? Because that would put us well over the 250 source. But what it means is V2 plus V3 will equal 200. Okay, so you might ask, why did I do that? Well, if I get a little bit of a mini total within here, I can also add up the power totals here, the 400 plus the 600 to give us 1,000 watts there, okay? And if I know I have 200 volts across these two and they were outputting a total of 1,000 watts, we can figure out how much current would be flowing through all of that. It's almost the same as uh, drawing the circuit um, in a much smaller state similar to this. So if I said we had 50 volts here, we'd have to have 200 volts there because we've got 250 as our source, okay? And if I said that this was outputting 1,000 watts, we can figure out what current would be flowing in order to, to have that outputting 1,000 watts. That's all I've done is I've, I've taken these two and shrunk them down into one unit, okay? So based on that, 1,000 divided by 200 gives me a current here of 5 amps. Okay, and using that current we can quickly solve for everything else. So uh, 250 divided by 5 will give us 50 ohms as an R total. Okay, uh, 250 times 5 will give me, what is that going to be, 1,250 watts. Okay, uh, 50 divided by 5 gives us 10 ohms here. 50 times 5 will give us 250 watts here, okay? Um, 400 divided by 5 will give me 80 ohm or 80 volts. 80 divided by 5 will give me what? 20 ohms? Or no, is that right? Sorry, 30. Bad math. Okay? And uh, what else are we left with here? 600 divided by 5 will give us 120 volts and 120 divided by 5 will give us what? What is that going to be? 60 ohms. Okay? Is that right? That's wrong. I'm looking at the wrong one here, aren't I? Yeah, I'm looking at the way wrong. Sorry people. Let me do some quick double checking of some items here. I think my R's are wrong. Okay, down there anyways. So, 80 divided by five is gonna give me 16 ohms. And 120 divided by five will give me 24 ohms. 24 plus 16 plus 10 gives us 50. 1,000 plus 250 gives us 1,250. Five amps was our power total, or our, our line current, or our I total. Okay, the key to unlocking this one though was to create that mini circuit within there. All right, that is probably a bigger stumbling block on this one than any of the other ones you've done. I think further down in question 16, it's, or question 15, it's very similar to this. So don't be afraid to sort of group a couple together and create mini totals within the circuit in order to unlock the current and then solve the rest of the circuit that way. Okay. So I hope that helps. That was question number 14. I started with question number two, I think. That's probably enough for me to, to do a demo on uh, for now. Um, feel, feel free to email me if you do have any further questions with this. If not, we're gonna shut that down and we'll see you for the next lesson. Thanks.